Hey guys, it is officially mushroom growing time and I've picked up two different boxes from my local nursery. So on this side we've got the white button mushrooms which are the tiny little mushrooms that you get in your supermarket. And then on this side I've got portobello. Now if you've never tried growing mushrooms at home, they're super easy to grow. There's a few little tips and tricks that you need to know to get started. Um, but I'm going to be showing you all that, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so let's start with the portobello mushrooms. So it's this box here. One of the great things about these home kits, on the very front of the box, they give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your mushroom kit. But I'm going to show you one of the most important steps. So when you open your box, you get a little bag of peat moss. And then if you open up the plastic, this is where your mushroom um, spores are. So what we're seeing here is one of the most important steps to your mushroom kit is all this beautiful white mycelium. Now if you opened your box up and it was still extremely brown, um, you would need to cover it back up, pop your lid back on your box and sit it inside a dark cupboard in the laundry or in the kitchen and leave it for a week or to two weeks and then take your lid off and see if you're seeing something like this. This is really important, so you need to make sure that your box has this nice white covering on the top. So I've opened the bag, but first I'm going to put some gloves on. Um, when you're using, if you're playing with anything that's a fungus in the garden, you really should be wearing gloves. Um, so once you've got your gloves on, you're just going to spread the peat moss quite evenly over the top of the mycelium. So once you've got it all spread out over the top, now this is a step that they don't say you have to do, but I like to do it, is grab a fork and just sort of loosen the mycelium underneath by just moving the fork back and forth and just run that, run the whole length of the box. So once you've got it to a nice sort of fluffy consistency, that's when you can grab your mister. You just want to use normal water out of the tap. And you're just going to go along if you if you miss the works you do there we go and you're just going to wet and you're going to just wet down that peat moss there we go so it's super easy to set up one of the things i like to do when i started harvesting mushrooms from my kits was go through, after I'd picked my mushroom, go through with the fork and just re-fork that little area just to sort of disturb the mycelium a little bit to encourage the spores to germinate. And now I'm going to find a spot to put them in the laundry and we'll check in on them in a few days and I'll show you that footage pretty much straight away. But it is super easy to assemble your mushroom kits. So all you got to do is just, first step, check to see if the compost underneath has a really good covering, a white frost covering. If you're finding there's not much mycelium growing, remember, pop it into the laundry for a few weeks, check it, and if it's ready, you're ready to go. Put your peat moss down, fork the soil, water, keep in a dark spot, then you'll have mushrooms growing in no time. Alrighty, so it's been a few weeks since I initially set up these mushroom growing kits, and as you can see, they've taken off really, really well. I actually did a small experiment where I put the white mushrooms, or the white button mushrooms, sorry, in a slightly cooler area of the house. And as you can see, it's taken it a lot longer to sprout. Whereas the portobello, I put in quite a warm room of the house. And as you can see, they're absolutely bursting. And a good trick to tell when your portobellos are ready is the margin on your mushroom will start to sort of curl upwards and they're actually starting to get a little bit old. So these are definitely ready to be picked. There's a few over here that are still growing a little bit more, but I've been really impressed with how quickly these ones have grown. I haven't grown portobellos before, and one of the things I noticed is when they first started to emerge, they looked extremely white. So I actually thought they might have been the white butter mushroom spores actually put into this kit. But after a few days, they actually started to brown. So if you're growing portobello mushrooms, do expect to see them initially start off as a white, um, and then the cap will slowly go brown. But I've been really happy with the results, and if you guys have been thinking about doing a mushroom kit yourself, give it a go. It's a lot of fun, it's super easy, and until next time, happy gardening everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.